Today on our 2013 Mazda CX-5, we'll be test fitting the Swagman Titan 4 hitch mounted bike carrier, part number S63410. To mount our carrier to the vehicle, we'll insert the shank of the carrier into the receiver tube of the hitch. We'll line up the hitch pin holes, thread in our anti-rattle bolt, and tighten it down using a wrench. Next, we'll go over a handful of clearance measurements. We've got about 11 inches of ground clearance and about 7.5 inches of clearance between the closest part of the carrier and the closest part of the vehicle. Overall, we've added about 20 inches of length to the rear of our vehicle with the carrier's arms folded down. Now we also want to check for rear vehicle access. We'll use the release lever at the base of the bike rack to tilt it down. We just want to make sure that we can open our cargo door completely and access the area, even with the bike rack mounted to the vehicle. Now we can put the bike rack back up and prepare to load a bike. We'll use the release lever at the top of the carrier to fold out the arms. We'll undo the rubber straps at the cradles closest to the vehicle and then grab our bike. We'll fit it over the arms of the carrier, set it into the cradles, and secure the frame using the rubber straps. With that done, our bike's all loaded up and we're ready to hit the road. That's it for our test fit of the Swagman Titan 4 hitch mounted bike carrier, part number S63410, on a 2013 Mazda CX-5.